Hey, come here, come here, check it out. Look over this fence right here. This is what you call a fixer upper. And when I, as an experienced real estate investor, look at properties like this, I'm thinking one of two things. Is this a property I wanna flip, meaning buy low, fix it up, sell it and try to make 10, 20, 30, 50, $100,000? Or is this a property that I'm gonna buy and hold? Well, let me tell you something. Flipping, if you know how to do it, can be super lucrative. But in 2023, there's five reasons why you might not want to consider flipping. One of the first deals that I ever did was a flip. It did not go according to plan. Still ended up making about $20,000, but it definitely took me longer than normal. And over the years, I've definitely had my opportunities to flip deals. But as you know, I've also completed over 6,500 buy and hold transactions on single family homes. And let me tell you something, there is a place for flipping. My buddy Carlos Reyes, he crushes it at wholesaling, flipping. It really is a legitimate way to make money. Question is, should you be doing that this year? And I'm here to raise the flag of warning that in 2023, there's five specific reasons why flipping is gonna be crazy, crazy dangerous. I want you to know what all five of them are. Check it out. So today we're talking about five reasons why flipping might be more dangerous in 2023 than at any other time. This may not be 100% true for the experts that do this all day long, but for the majority of people, watch out. The honest truth according to Statista, nearly 8.4% of all home sales in the US were flips in 2022. That totals out to 500,000 of the 5.95 million homes sold in 2022. That's a lot of transactions and a lot of money made to be sure, but is flipping still worth it in 2023? And let me tell you, one of my buddies who was flipping dozens of homes this last year, he is praying that when he releases his final property, that he'll barely make enough money to even just break even. Now, he was playing in the luxury space and there's a lot of people who aren't flipping million or multi-million dollar homes, but needless to say, with what's happened in the market, things have slowed down dramatically. People are afraid of the hike in interest rates right now. They're also afraid of inflation. And what that means is you have fewer buyers in the market that are willing to pay those prices with those mortgage payments. And as a result, where we once had a couple of years ago, people flooding the market, bidding homes up, buying them like crazy, the opposite has happened in the high price range. It's almost a ghost town, which is why I felt inspired to make you a video and say, hey, let me get you clued in for 2023 on what you should know about flipping and five hazards. The first reason why you gotta be an expert at the game is number one, there are hidden costs. Capital gains tax can eat up to 20% of a flip's profit margin and the cost of actually buying and selling the home, agent and escrow fees add up as well. Nearly all of these hidden costs can be overcome by holding a property, investing it with a team of experts. In other words, buy and hold, you don't have to worry about those things, but on flipping, you better make sure that you're clear. If you buy a property that is 50,000 under market, by the time you add in escrow fees, agent fees, and capital gains, what looked like could be $50,000 quickly turned into like five or $10,000. And the novice usually doesn't pick up on that at first. Number two is a huge danger, timing the market. Since flips rely on speed and timing to make a good profit at sale, 2023 may be the worst year in over a decade to flip. Recessions are a great time to buy if you have an experienced investing partner, but not a good time for your very first flip. By the way, I've had a lot of experience with first time investors that got soured, they got ruined because they ended up buying a lemon without knowing it. They went into the market, they thought they were gonna flip this property, they thought they were gonna make 100 grand, but guess what? Timing switched on them and all of a sudden they became a don't wanter. And this actually happened to me. I remember when I bought a property around $400,000, it was significantly above the median. This is like, I don't know, 15, whatever, 17 years ago. And when I tried to flip it in the market after putting a little money into it, I thought I was gonna make 100 grand. But I had to keep dropping the price because the market was heading down. And all of a sudden, my timing, which had looked good months earlier, was now off and I dropped it to the point where a buddy of mine ended up picking up the home for exactly what I paid for it. Did I flip it and make $100,000? No, I made nothing on it. And you know what? At least I didn't get hurt, at least I didn't lose, but I gotta tell you, that was a huge reality check and a very important learning lesson for me on the game of flipping and timing. Psst. If you are a first time investor, hang out to the end of the video because I'm gonna give you the ultimate hack aside from flipping on how you can make some real serious money. Listen, if you wanna know my biggest rub against flipping in general, it has to do with number three right here, labor and time. 
The real way to make money on a flip is to do the work yourself. But if you aren't a trained general contractor, that likely isn't worth your time. Experienced real estate investment groups often own their own team of contractors in-house to limit the rehab costs. And I'm gonna tell you, there's a number of homes that I bought in the beginning of my investment journey where I was there fixing it up, I was there going to Home Depot Lowe's, I was there doing the painting because I thought, okay, that's something that I can do, I can try to save some money. And I'm gonna tell you at the end of the day that I became sour at the idea of real estate that would rob me my time. I like the idea of owning it, but this whole flipping game in the beginning became a sore spot for me because I valued my time. We've been told that our most valuable asset is our time. And so even when my time wasn't worth nearly as much as it is today, it still was a rub. And I think this keeps a lot of people out of the game, which is why I was looking for something more passive at the end of the day. And it's probably one of the reasons why I went more into the buy and hold strategy that I'll talk a little bit more at the end because that is where I have made my greatest fortune without wasting any of my time. So here's the irony of flipping real estate. People will tell you when you buy real estate that it will give you the most aggressive tax benefits you possibly can get, but that doesn't actually apply to flipping. You miss out on some great tax reduction strategies by selling the property quickly as a flip. People who own real estate long-term can utilize annualized depreciation to spread tax write-offs over many years in a row. And I'll just tell you right now, having transacted thousands of properties, that whether you're using normal depreciation or accelerated depreciation, this is how I didn't owe any taxes for my first seven years that I started buying real estate because it produced such huge, heavy tax write-offs. So if you're thinking, well, Chris, I wanna get in the game of real estate, is it because you wanna make money or is it because you're already doing well financially but you'd rather save the money that you're giving the government? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, flipping is for making money but the buying and holding game will do both making you the money, but also give you the tax write-offs. And number five, we're gonna talk about market conditions because the first half of the 2023 fiscal year has been relatively strong, but the second half will likely experience a severe recession projected at upwards of 15 to 20% drop in values across financial markets. This is great for the buy and hold method. It is definitely not great for flips. So when you know a market is going down and you're buying to sell something, Guess when you actually wanna perform your best flips? When the market is at its bottom and you know it's at its bottom. In 2008, when the market dropped hard in Phoenix and Vegas and Florida, I went into these markets and right there on the county court steps, we started buying hundreds and then thousands of homes. And because we were doing a buy and hold, we found out a year into it that the market actually hadn't stopped dropping. But because we held them for five years, by the time the market came back, there was over $100 million of profits that were made on that batch of homes that I helped my investors with. So I want you to think about this. Flipping right now, if we're not at the bottom of the market, could be a little bit scary. Experts know what they're doing, but for the average person, if you don't have experience, I would say, on having done multiple flips, maybe even 10, 20, or 30, now might be the perfect time to pause and say, wait a second, consider buy and hold, because right now, my ROIs are higher in the buy and hold game than they've ever been before. Now's the perfect time to actually own real estate instead of flipping real estate. And if you've never owned real estate before, you don't have a system for how to make that fully passive and turnkey and hands off, check this out. There's a lot of trial and error when you try to do real estate completely on your own. And anytime I get into a new business or a new game, instead of just reading books or taking an online course, what I really like to do is partner with someone who has experience. My first deals were purchased with partners that knew exactly what they were doing. Now, what does that actually look like? Well, a lot of people are watching me on my social media or have been sometimes for years, and they recognize, okay, Chris, you've done thousands of deals. What does partnering with you look like? And generally, it's they put up the money, which is often found in a 401k or an IRA or equity in a home, savings. And then I unleash my team of 200 experts to go into the top five markets and basically find the very best deals that have the highest ROI. And we do everything. We do 100% of the work. And then what we do is we split our profits equally. People love it. I've got quite a few partners. We're buying a lot of real estate. And you might be the next one. And if you're curious to know what that looks like, there's a link below. Click the bottom of this video, click that link, learn about what partnering looks like, and if partnering's for you, you literally might have my cell phone just right around the corner, and I might be building wealth with you. Click the link below and find out. You know, when I started investing in real estate, I started with less than $5,000. And before I knew it, I had acquired a ton of properties and became financially free. If you wanna know how I house hacked myself to my first million dollars, click right here, watch this video, let me show you.